Now, I ask you, what kind of regime is capable of that atrocity? What kind of regime thinks it could get away with a genocide in front of the world, and when it is indicted for genocide, want to continue? Even the quite strong language used by Minister Coveney and others today means nothing, as you rightly said, means nothing to Netanyahu, to Smotrich, Ben Giver, ministers today in the Israeli government saying we want to destroy Gaza. Why do they continue? Why do they think they can do it again? Because there are never any consequences and the United States continues to give them arms and weapons. European states like Germany and Britain continue to give them arms and weapons and the European Union givers, gives them favoured trade status and nobody imposes any sanctions on them. One of the proudest things this country uh, can uh, be proud of is what the, the Dunn Stores workers did in the mid-1980s by going on strike for two years, forcing Ireland to be the first country in the world to impose comprehensive, comprehensive sanctions on apartheid South Africa, which began a domino effect that led to the dismantling of the apartheid regime. Of course, guess who held out till the bitter end to defend that obnoxious regime? The United States and Britain. Same people who are effectively giving the license to Israel to continue its atrocities. Do what this country did with apartheid South Africa in the mid-1980s that helped bring that regime down. Admit it is an apartheid state, it is an uncivilized state, it is a barbaric state, and that it should have sanctions imposed on it in order to end that apartheid, end that occupation, and end the possibility of the sort of genocidal slaughter we have seen for the last four months. Impunity was given, granted, and that has given Netanyahu and the crazed, bloodthirsty ministers uh, uh, on, on, that are his lieutenants the confidence to believe that they can continue with this massacre. There, it has to mean the, the end of that apartheid regime where there can be equality between Jewish people, Muslim people, Christian people, and people of no religion who can share the land of Palestine as equals. Anything less, which is, we wouldn't accept anywhere else, we didn't accept it in South Africa, it has to be Thank you, uh, imposed by Western governments, and this government cannot simply say, oh, there's nothing we can do.